Hi, my name is Courtney Morrison and I'm an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today, I'm going to take you through six easy steps to log and view data with WT Viewer E. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to install WT Viewer E on your computer and connect your instrument to WT Viewer E. Next, I will show you how to change the settings and configure the measurement settings. Last, I will show how to take and view measurements and how to save and load a setup file. To install the software, first click on the link in the description of this video. Under software search, type WT Viewer E. Click on WT Viewer E upgrade version and download it. Make sure you have your instrument registered on Ylink in order to be able to download it. Next, go to the Downloads folder and extract the files where you want them. Then, open the folders where you extracted the files. Double-click the installer and follow the steps on screen to install the software. Finally, the YKM USB 64 installer should pop up. Follow the steps on screen to install the USB driver. The software should now be ready to use. In order to be able to connect the instrument to WT Viewer E, first you have to configure the settings on the instrument. I'm going to use the USB option, but you could also use Ethernet, GPIB, or RS-232. Press miscellaneous, then remote control, then select the device that you'll be using. Use the cursor keys to set the ID value to a number in the range of 1 to 127. The instrument is now ready to connect to WT Viewer E. Open WT Viewer E. Select New Connection. Click Manual Search. Deselect all irrelevant parameters. Select Range Setting. And then press Device Search. Select the device you want and click OK. Then click Start Online Connection. The instrument should now be connected. Keep in mind the power analyzer will now be in remote mode so you won't be able to change anything on the instrument. To be able to use the instrument again, press the local button on the instrument. To change the settings of the power analyzer on WT Viewer E, click the wrench button on the left side of the screen. All the settings you would need to change on the power analyzer you can change here. Click on wiring and select your wiring setup. I have a WT3000E wired in the one phase two wire configuration. Click range. I'm going to select auto range for both voltage and current. Click sync source. The synchronization source defines the period over which the sample data is acquired for determining the numeric data. Select an input signal with a stable input level and frequency for the sync source. Adjust any of the other settings you desire. To configure the measurement settings, click the measurement button. 
This screen shows the numeric list, numeric, numeric matrix, bar, vector, trend, and wave information. You can right click on any of these boxes to bring up their settings menu. Right click the numeric box. From here, you can change the detail settings, item setting, item display, and user defined function. On the numeric detail tab under auto saving, you can adjust how your data is saved. In the auto saving box, choose auto saving. Set the interval to update rate. The update rate can be changed in settings. Set the stop time to 10 seconds. If you set it to zero, it will continue collecting data until you choose to manually stop it. In the file box, choose the path you'd like to save the data to. Choose auto naming to name the file based on the date and time. Click the item setting tab and select the items you want to store. Configure any other measurement settings how you would like. To begin collecting data, click the run button near the top of the screen. Above the run button, you can see the amount of time that's passed and how many data points have been collected. Click the stop button when you're finished collecting data. To view the file, open the folder where you chose to save the data and open the file. An Excel file will open showing the collected data. To save a setup file, click the File button. Under File Method, select Setting Data. Select the folder location to save the file to and click Save. It will now appear in the list of files displayed. To load the setup file, Click the setup file you want and click load. WT Viewer E will now be set to the settings in the setup file. You can now easily set up your power analyzer with WT Viewer E. For more information, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.